Rather than the traditional approach to orthodontics, what we do is look at the cause of the problem and then try and address the cause. Um, 200 years ago almost nobody had crooked teeth and now 80% of children growing up with crooked teeth. And one of the problems that we have in therapy today throughout the world that orthodontists tend to look at this as a problem of crooked teeth. And so what they do is they think what mechanics, what system can we put on here to move those teeth into a better position. And relapse occurs in over 90% of orthodontists. And we're now fairly clear on what the cause of the problem is. Where anybody's teeth are, or where they're being pushed by the muscles of the lips and the muscles of the tongue. And if you want to grow up with straight teeth, there's four patterns that you need. And the first thing we need to do is to have our lips to get at rest. Now most parents think their children have their mouths closed most of the time. I believe the simple observation like we do this afternoon shows us that most children have their mouths open most of the time. And when you look at children, this is what you see all the time. Just like we can see here with the children now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven children with their mouths open, just like speaking now. And if the mouth is open like that, the tongue will not be in the room. And what happens is the growth and the development of the face is such that it's the tongue up in the roof of the mouth and the teeth erupt around the tongue. The top jaw is the shape of your tongue. And when we, the, the, the human genome will do the rest. If you've got the tongue up in the roof of the mouth, your jaw size, your tooth size will match. Your jaw, grow a jaw, every child's got the genetic potential to grow jaws to match their teeth. And so what we're trying to do is help children to grow up with their mouths closed. Most children have their mouths hanging open most of the time, and when the mouth is hanging open, the tongue drops from the roof of the mouth. So what we're trying to do is to train the children to have their lips together and the tongue in the roof of the mouth, and to do that, they have to breathe through the nose. There's many benefits of nasal breathing. One tiny benefit is the ability to have straight teeth. But once you establish nasal breathing, you have a healthier child, irrespective of the teeth. The children, they all start off by wearing a Maya brace, and they'll be in a Maya brace for at least a year. So sometimes what we have to do is to make the top jaw bigger to make room for the tongue. And it's not difficult to do that because the joint right down the middle of the top jaw. The lower jaw is a single bone, but the top jaw is actually four separate bones all joined together. Doing that until we've got enough room for what? Time to go. Okay. The room for and at the end of this appointment, I want them to understand what it is that they have to do. So um, this concept, this holistic sort of concept, will be very attractive to parents. But it's the kids that have to do it. And I want them to really understand what it is that they have to do by the end of that appointment. Do you remember what we started with when we first started treatment? What did we start with? Do you remember? The plate. What was the purpose of the plate? To make room for the water to go where? To go. To go. So the purpose of the plate was to make room for the water to go and move the man. What was the purpose of the mind press? You used to call So we first of all make room for the tongue and then we train the tongue. Just by making the jaw bigger, we've made room for the teeth there. So we've got the teeth straight, not big braces. If you mean braces, the teeth will be straight on that. All we've done is made room for the teeth. 
and she starts knocking with a really severe pack. This is during treatment. That was the end of treatment. This is a year after treatment. And there she was in the And no treatment from this point on. The younger they are, the easier it is from our point of view and the less work that it's likely to be. You see, when you get good facial growth and development, you end up with straight teeth.